what's up guys hope everybody's doing well and having a great day in this video we're going to analyze some video footage from the close encounter that a family is claiming to have had involving 100 percent non-human creatures in their backyard following a sighting above las vegas of what looked like a bright green fireball a typical meteor is what it looked like soaring through the sky above las vegas moving at around 40,000 miles per hour meteors are fast and when they impact the ground they leave a crater there's a debris field usually that spans for you know a specified distance depending on how big the meteor was or meteorite once it enters the atmosphere it's called a meteorite and the signature on the ground should have looked something like that the photo that I showed you guys right there that's from the backyard of where the incident occurred in northwestern Las Vegas but that's a still image from Google Earth that goes back to 2022 but I never saw saw any photos of the ground following this impact of some sort of an object that that supposedly impacted the ground but what I'm thinking is this thing may have impacted the ground and just simply ended up in their backyard because if it would have landed in their backyard I've seen helicopter footage of their backyard from just a couple of weeks ago and there was no impact crater and there was hardly any disturbance at all other than tire tracks back there like you see right there so I was tagged in a couple of videos Carlos shared this video with me and this segment right here they were coming out of the backyard and it's very dark over there and they took off running and I'm gonna show you guys the video that we're going to analyze here in just a second and I was very skeptical until I analyzed this video right here and here we go I'm gonna show you guys what I found this is the the segment where they're coming out of the backyard they're showing this man right here what they saw and I think they may have seen what they were describing by the way they're acting here as they're coming out of the backyard it has a little bit of narration here we go <laughs> Okay, this segment right here is the one we're going to work on. And I did a lot of work on this here in the last couple of hours. Off in the distance over here is the only look that we have in the backyard. And it's very dark over there. You can't really see too much, right? This man here, he's investigating what they say they saw back here in their backyard. So again, the only thing I can think of is if something did happen, number one, this thing did not land in their backyard because there were no images of any type of impact crater in their backyard. Maybe it impacted somewhere else and just somehow or another ended up in their backyard. But what I did, I slowed this down as slow as I could go. I zoomed in on this darkness over here. I lightened it up. And sure enough, you're going to be able to see something over there in the darkness. And notice both of these gentlemen here. They're looking in the same direction. Their heads are, are pointed in the same direction. They're both focused on something over there in the darkness. And you could tell they were very excited when they came running out of the backyard. So now we're going to go in close. I do some enhancement work and I make this area over here that's very dark. I make it bright. And I use multiple techniques as you're going to see something start to appear over here that looks like a, for lack of a better description, a large stick man. See something over there moving around. You can see what could be interpreted as a torso. You could see what could be interpreted as a head. You could see what could be interpreted as an extremity here, an extremity down here, here. Look, there's something there moving, totally something moving. And they're both looking in that direction. So was there something over there in the dark? According to this video, yes. But I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. All I did was add some light to the darkness over there. And this is in the backyard of where they claim to have seen 100% non-human creatures in their backyard that were somewhere between the neighborhood of 8 and 10 feet tall. And I know that's hard to wrap your mind around. It's hard for me to wrap my mind around it. But this is the original video, and all I've done to it is lighten it up and, and use some techniques that kind of pull forward things that, that we may not be able to see in the dark, right? Kind of remove layers of darkness, and there you go. There is something there. Exactly what it is, guys, I don't know, but I will say this. I'm not as skeptical as I was before I started working on this segment right here. 
simply because of the, the lack of an impact crater. But in all fairness, maybe whatever it was impacted somewhere else ended up in their backyard when they were out there working on a car, and this is what they encountered, um, something that definitely doesn't look human. And it does resemble what they were describing, very tall creatures. They said there were two, um, very thin. They said they were silver, greenish color. It's difficult to tell in this video because it was so incredibly dark. But it does look like maybe a, a dark white or a light gray, maybe a silver. Um, it's difficult to tell, but you can see there's something there that's moving. Um, it's tall. It's thin. Uh, it does look like it has extremities right there. See it? Kind of hard to miss once you take away the darkness and leave the light there. There is something there. Exactly what? I don't know, guys. As always, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. But like I said earlier, I'm not as skeptical as I was, say, a week ago, because the guy seems sincere. I just couldn't wrap my mind around how you couldn't get at least one picture of these things in your backyard or at least a little video clip. Um, but there's something right there, definitely. I don't know exactly what we're looking at. Um, I've never seen anything like this. This is a first for me. Um, but I can tell you I've done nothing to this video except remove darkness. And there you go. That's what was in the darkness over there, about 30, maybe 40 feet away. So it does look like something tall standing there or leaning up against something. And right here, you can clearly see. See right there? You can see movement. There's something there moving. So, again, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide, but there was something over there in the darkness of this video as they were coming out of the backyard of the house in Las Vegas, northwestern Las Vegas, where they claimed to have seen two creatures that were 100% not human in their backyard following a bright green fireball that was spotted above Las Vegas on the night of May 1st, just after midnight, a bright green fireball was spotted above Las Vegas by a lot of people, supposedly landed somewhere in Las Vegas. I don't think it landed necessarily in their backyard directly or there would have been an impact crater. And right there, I stopped it because you can kind of get the, the full view of whatever was standing over there in the darkness in the backyard of that house in northwestern Las Vegas. Today's feature photo was sent in by Alex out of Bendigo, Australia, of a very intense jumbo halo spotted in the sky above Australia. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. And if you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. You can always find a link down below in the description box. Look for this red tab that says, Have a Large Video. Simply click on the red tab. It's a drop box. Drag and drop your video into the drop box. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.